Hello and welcome, this is Alistair Christie and today we're going to have a look at the SQL insert statement. This will be the fourth instalment in our series on SQL. We're going to continue to work with the employee table. And we're going to insert a new employee. And we do that by using insert and then into our table name and then values and we just list all the, the values we want. So employee number one Christy Alistair the high date can be today. And remember SQL dates are all month day year. This one is celery. I'll give me a salary of ninety thousand a year. Execute that. One row affected. Okay, and there I am. Sometimes you don't want to add every field, so insert into employee and then we can um, give the fields we want to add. So employee number, last name and salary. One thousand Jones And there we have it. As you can see, the insert statement has two forms, one in which you specify the values for every field, the other you specify the values for selected fields. You may find it interesting to note that you won't use insert, update and delete anywhere near as much as you might think. This is because they are thankfully abstracted away from us by the components we use. And that's all from me today. Catch you next time.